My name is Richard Ekebus from Amber Restaurant and today I'm going to cook for you teardrop peas with cuttlefish, pomelo and wakame. The dish is a nice fresh spring dish. The origin is French, but we created basically an amber version on it using uh, seafood instead of bacon. First of all, we make the pea puree. So shell the sugar peas, blanch the sugar peas in salted water. We boil the peas for two to three minutes maximum till fondant, soft, tender. We shuck the peas on ice to make sure that we really keep a very bright green color as it immediately stops the cooking process. Then drain the peas to make sure all excess water is uh, removed. Then we emulsify the peas into a puree. After that, we remove the puree from the blender, pass it through a fine sieve, uh, to make sure that we get a beautiful, smooth texture in the puree and we put it aside till later use. And next we prepare the cuttlefish. But what we do, uh, we set the head flat on a tray into the freezer and just to leave it to set, it also tenderizes a little bit the squid through the freezing process. It breaks down a little bit the fiber of, uh, of the cuttlefish. And then when it's uh, slightly frozen, we take it out and we cut it into a perfect dice. The dice needs to be of the same size of the piece, of the largest size of the piece, because the whole uh, intent of this dish is the play on textures. So if the cuttlefish would be too big, then it sort of falls out of sync with the texture of the piece. So now we're gonna make a ragu of the snap peas with the cuttlefish. In the olive oil, we add the finely chopped shallots. We glaze them, so to speak. Uh, we don't cook them, we don't give them color. We don't want to have that browning process, just to sweat it. We saute the sugar piece with the shallots for about uh, two minutes. We don't want to overcook the piece. We really want to make sure we keep this very short. Then we add vegan butter, the seaweed. Bring the heat back up. Add into that the diced cuttlefish and then we remove the pan of the stove. It's very important at this stage that we now slowly move in the cuttlefish to make sure that the heat of the peas and the shallots and the wakame transforms over into the cuttlefish and that the cuttlefish would get this beautiful light cooking on it so it stays translucent. Finally, we can assemble the dish with all the elements ready, spoon the puree in, and on top, we spoon uh, the ragu of cuttlefish with peas. Scatter over this the pomelo uh, that is gonna give this very interesting uh, acidity, but also interesting texture. We put the sprouts of the peas on top, drizzle it with the olive oil, grate the lime skin over the dish. It's important that you serve it immediately because it's not a dish that is super hot, it's a warm dish. So important you serve this immediately to your guests. It's a very playful dish, a very simple dish. It's a dish that people are going to enjoy making and eating.